Welcome to the second part in this conlanging naming language adventure. Um, if you haven't watched part one, I will link that down below, but that's sort of where I go over the program that I use for creating these and uh, my first attempt. And otherwise, we're just gonna go on a fun journey through trying to build my next naming language for my book. So let's get into it. All right, so um, it's President's Day. My kids' daycare is closed, so I'm home watching them. I'm wearing a cozy sweater, my hair is ridiculously poofy today, um, and they wanted to play in their room, so I figured we could work on this a little bit, but we may hear them yelling at each other, so yeah, I apologize. Um, so let me pull up my computer. I've been playing around with one of the other society builders, let me maybe over here a little bit. Okay. For the language of the, like, invading people, whatever, um, again, I'm not gonna have too much of this. I might have, like, I need to name the, like, nation they're from and any other nations over there because there's gonna be a common, uh, language. Um, kiddos, no playing in the hallway. If you're gonna play in your rooms, please play in your rooms. Yeah, okay. Um... But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, like a couple of like, nations, I'm gonna need to name the people themselves. And they'll mostly all be soldiers. Maybe a couple of higher level, like, uh, like diplomat type officials. So I might need a few like titles, you know? But then mostly I just need names. And these would all be formal names, right? So full name, you know, however they address them. Like if I decided that, you know, you address people by, like, title, uh, last name that I might not even need to make first names at all, honestly, but I don't know if that's what I'm gonna want to do yet, so. I come up, came up with some rough rules. Uh, I decided to take out the letter R and S because I feel like that would be weird. Um, I decided there would be a lot of, uh, oh wait. I can't do those together. I can't take out S and have ts, ts, Um... How do I want to do that? I want to put back in S? I'll put back in S. You know what? So I feel like I should take out something else too that would be weird. Kiddos, please stop! What would be a weird one? Let's take out Z. It's not really weird, but we'll take it out. Let's take out X too. They won't have X. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I have those. I wanted to have more vowels because I think the main language is going to be like shorter vowels, shorter consonants, and typically like end in vowels. So this is going to be lots of vowels, commonly end in consonants. Um, uh, I have C. I don't have the letter K. And I added the glottal stop. And we'll see if I like how that looks. Um, which actually... No, I'm going to take that out because I'm using it in the other language just to kind of mark the difference between syllables, I think, in some cases. So we'll take out the glottal stop so that it's not in both, right? So then I think that makes sense. Right now I just have um, more likely TS, CS, and PS, so it's in here. And I don't have any other custom stuff right now. That is it. And this is normally where I start with just making stuff. Um, and I think I have, so for like syllable length, I normally have two, sometimes three, very infrequently one. And that's to make it have a different feel than the other language. Um, I have uh, lots of possible codas. I think this is just standard. I think the rest of this is standard. Um, so commonly and in consonants so so I think my coda length so I very infrequently want it to not have a coda but what we could do is I could change the weights of those but what we'll just do is we'll make this like one a weight of one for having no coda we'll allow for like you know the random weird thing um, but then normally I'll make this 50. Uh, 50, yeah. 
and see how that works out for us. Um, and if I don't want it to end in consonants, then what I can do is go to my language rules and essentially I want the ending coda. You can't have an initial coda, right? Because it's onset um, uh, nucleus coda. So you can't have an ending or an initial coda because it's always either in the middle or at the end, right? So I'll fix that name, copy this. And I use it correctly in the code. Um, I checked this earlier. This is like an issue I had throughout is that I named it wrong and then I used it correctly, but then I forgot to go back and fix the naming. But we're gonna go in here. Okay, so I uh, that took me a minute to realize what the simplest version of that would be, but I basically just have a list of. So basically the potential like ending codas that it will use for its uh, generation for this language will be nothing, so it'll never add one, basically. Um, so that handles that. So then, I think we have all the base rules that we want. So what I'm gonna do is go to my main class. All right, so basically what this is gonna do is just build 50 random words. So we will run that. I have a boo boo. Right, because there are no options. So we just need to handle that. If weighted options dot is empty, then we'll just return basically nothing, an empty string. Let's see if that works. Okay, so here we go. Um, so like, I don't necessarily like the CS at the beginning. I think that looks weird and hard to pronounce. So what we'll do is get custom initial onset weights and I will move this one up there. Oh wait, no, I want it not in the initial. I want it in either middle coda yeah, I think middle coda is where I want it. Because I won't have any ending codas, so we'll just get rid of that because we'll never have them. I could just there make the weight of... No, it's fine, it's fine. So, okay. So that's going to be higher, but only for middle codas. And then what we'll do is... Actually, we'll put that as a zero here. So it won't show up in the onset, and it'll hire, have a higher chance of showing up in a middle coda. Yes, we'll try that. Um, yeah, because I'm not a huge fan of it, but like, uspai, us, uspi, di, wushti, oavno. Like, most of these, I can't pronounce these. Gefa, like, you look at these and you just don't know how to pronounce them, right? So like, I'm doing too much weird stuff here, right? This is not super pronounceable. Vinsdo. I don't know how to make this more pronounceable. Um, so what is the problem here? I think it could be that they're long and... Oh God. Uh, uh, QC. Feels like that should not be a thing. See, I'm actually going to go down to my normal validation filters. I'm surprised I don't have QC here, but I don't, so we'll add it. I don't like QC. I don't think that's a pronounceable sound. Yeah, there's just too many consonants in a row there. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing about the consonants. There's not actually that many valid consonant clusters that are long, and I think I have these in my phenomes file. Um, three character onset clusters. These are the rules for English, I think. These are the only valid three character onset clusters. Um, coda can have zero to four, only approximate sound f allowed in coda is L and R. But see, I don't have these necessarily in the code entirely yet, so this is kind of a little tricky. 
Let's see, let's go back to my language and see how many characters I'm allowing in the onset. Onset. I am allowing three. A rare chance, but I am allowing three. So, onset. And we'll add overrides because we're overriding the one in the abstract class. And where is it? Three character onset clusters. So, okay. Okay, so I added that in. I don't know if I actually finished the two character onset clusters that are actually valid and the three character ones that are valid. I can't remember, but we'll see if this looks right. I have a lot of two character onset clusters, so maybe. So we'll try it. So let's go back to my main class. Let's run this again and see how this looks. That doesn't really look much better. Royal winds so bidet. Leo cool. I think I have too many long vowels that don't make sense. I think maybe that's the problem that the vowels are hard to understand. Did I start looking at possible longer vowels at any point? Um, so this should still be used. Okay, so bad vowel clusters should already be ruled out. So I don't know why they look so weird, to be completely honest. I think it's just there's too many long vowels. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. I may just need to do, like, run it a lot and get a lot of examples. Because a lot of these are, like... Like, I feel like for weird words, if they're un, like, not clearly English, I feel like it's really hard to read them if they are longer syllables. So maybe I just need to give up on that. Because, like, like, maybe we'll go back and put this back to, like, maybe 35 and make this 15 and try that. Because, like, the shorter ones you can sort of sound out more easily, but the long ones it's, like, you know, it's it's more difficult. So, Asai, Vovdeya. I feel like it's these three vowels that really kill you. Like, I feel like those are really tricky. Uh, okay, this is a little bit better. Wivda, Palgi, Palbgi, Palbg. I feel like BG is very tricky. Yeah, I don't know when I would be able to, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a no. Uh, Jasea, that's fine. Vuchu, Vauchu, that's fine enough. Clea, like this, like, Plioipsiloxqua. Like, you can't pronounce that. You see that in a book and you're just gonna be like, what? Like, what on earth is that? Swebwi? Honestly, that's kind of a fun word. I kind of like that, right? So that's what we're looking for. Ones that I like. So, the Wea, that's fun. Uh, Paumiu. Paumiu. I kind of like that, but without the other I. Paumu? How me? I like that, right? Quill me? Glee? Glee is cool. Um, Galby? Galby? I feel like that's pretty easy to pronounce. Moldtow. Moldtow. It's fine. Um, Haklacha. Haklacha. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, that one's weird, but I'm gonna copy it because it's kind of funny. Uh, Vauchu Cho. Jasia. Jakea. Laumpa. A little weird. Play Cow. 
Wivda. I like Wivda. And you can see I'm mostly leaning towards the shorter syllable ones just because they're easier to pronounce. Glass me. Oh, I got a phone call. All right, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm just copying in some of those like vowel clusters that I did like that I thought made sense. Um, and I'm just gonna make them a little bit more common, right? So that they have more of that feel, right? Cause I like those. So. And so basically this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep pulling these letters or these words. So, so essentially what I'm gonna do now is I want to decide how to name people. So I'm going to delete all the ones of these I didn't end up doing in terms of overrides. Like there's no custom stuff for these, so I don't need to clutter up this class. I think that's everything. Yeah. All right, so then I need to make the builders. And first I'm going to have the name builders, whatever that ends up being, but like build name. And I just need to decide what additional rules I have for names. Like, what are they gonna be like? How are they gonna work? I don't know. We can just do the, um, let's see, how did I do this for Jasmesh? Get word builder, build word, yeah. We could make them have some sort of, uh, special endings that they always have or like they have to always end in a consonant they have to always end in a vowel we could do something like that although the words always end in a consonant already um but like i feel like a lot of those words that i like didn't really sound like oh wait i said wait commonly ending consonants but then i got rid of all the ending consonants that's not what i wanted to do that's not maybe that's why these sound so weird um Don't want that. So we don't want it to end in a vowel. Okay, okay, so if we do that, then all of these are bad. But I could add a consonant at the end, so like sweb we, sweb win, sweb we, sweb we. So I can just sweb win, sweb win. <coughs> sweb wheat. The win pow meal meal pow me sure glean glean glen um so that they're technically valid so but now I need to decide if there's any going to be any special word requirements for names and. I don't know if I need there to be any weird requirements. I could like say they have to be so many letters exactly. Like all these names are exactly six characters or Fino, Fino, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I could do that. Um, what do I want to do? Maybe I want to make them exactly one syllable. That would be interesting because the other one, there'll be two for the personal name. They'll always be two syllables. But they're gonna be short, so these would be longer. So I could do that. Um, do I have a way to build with an exact number of syllables? We'll do that. Let's add another method for build word with syllables. And we'll do uh, int length. And then we won't have to get a random name length. Yeah. So then we'll do build word with syllables and it will always be two syllables. No, one. <coughs> <coughs> and 
and maybe let's let's limit it more um let's do private boolean is name valid and what we'll say maybe we'll say they have to end with a certain set of consonants um so if name dot ends with uh let's say n h because i did like that that a lot and h mm, 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 mm. we're doing voice so mm, 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 mm. i guess h is a voice uh speech voice mm, uh. it's not voiced so that's not really a pattern there never mind Mm -hmm. So instead of H, we'll do D. Okay. So what this will essentially do is it'll build a name in a loop until it gets one that ends with an N, a D, or an M. Uh, specifically because it's a name, it will always be one syllable. So we can try that now. So let's see, conlang. So what we're actually wanna do is instead of just building 50 words, system.out.println are invading language builder dot build name. And we'll do this 50 times and see what these names look like. Okay, vad, tuan, tam, Sleazd, same, kled, hun, twam, sust, plem. So like some of these are weird, right? I still don't love some of these, but I feel like some of these are pretty good. And I'm basically just pulling ones that I like, right? Things that I think are reasonably easy to pronounce. Kled, tom, twan, ian. And again, most of these would be like throw out names, right? Like they wouldn't be reoccurring characters. Like the, char the, the readers don't really need to remember them. So basically that's what I need to do there. And then I need to decide what the name of the, like if there's gonna be honorifics or officers, but I feel like it would be easier to just call them like Officer Blah or Lieutenant Blah, right? Like I feel like that would be easier, um, but I do need a last name still. Um, Cause here's the, here's the thing. Right, so with a lot of languages, you expect there to be regional similarities if they all came from the same root language. And for the most part, I'm simplifying that a little bit where I could expand it into that more so, right? Because I am creating three main languages of that like are people languages, right? So you have people on one side of the mountain, people on the other side of the mountain, and people on this island. The people on the island have a lot of like interactions with the people mainly on one side of the mountains. So it makes sense if they potentially came from the same original language, but also it's quite possible that maybe they didn't, you know, like maybe that language, like I could work that, right, where it would have came from a different place. Um, and if I were to build out more societies on either side of the island, I could basically just make adaptions of the other languages I'm building there, right? Like these are gonna be the core unique languages, but it makes sense for them to have some patterns potentially. So then the question is how I want the last names to be, the family names, if they're even family names, because they might not be. They could be occupational names, like it could be then the officer or something like that. Like I could do something weird there, right? I'll come in in a minute. All right, I'm gonna I've been doing this for an hour now so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna think on that and that's gonna be everything for this time uh, this adventure is going to last a while and have many parts I can already tell but thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or advice and I will see you in the next one